trying to undertake investigative activities, but yeah. they're very fearful for what this could mean if that pause was lifted. And as far as the resignations go, how has the state of Texas responded? Have they said anything about the departures from this agency? They did not answer our specific questions about the departures and what the impact of that would be. You know, they've just said that they will follow the law in their child abuse investigations. But, you know, this is an agency that has struggled for a long time with employee recruitment and retention. Um, they struggle on a lot of fronts um, with, you know, their foster care system, with child abuse investigations. And many of these employees personally worry a lot about what it means to have long tenured, experienced investigators and supervisors walk out the door. Yeah, I was just gonna ask you, the people who have decided to leave these jobs, are any of them still openly struggling with that decision, processing it, and, and worried about the consequences of what leaving this agency means for the people still there? Absolutely, I mean, I wouldn't say any of them are, I would say all of them are. I mean, they are really, tied up in knots about this. Um, I mean, in a lot of cases, they were working under sort of subprime conditions as it were. And now they know that by leaving, they're just increasing caseloads. They're just getting those cases reassigned. I mean, almost every supervisor I talked to said they are haunted by the fact that if these cases fall through the cracks because people resign or because they're taking on other investigations they feel they shouldn't be involved in, that children in Texas will die.